Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a bunny with a balloon. I'm going to take three fingers from the top and underneath I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curved line down on the left, come back to the dot, curve line down on the right. Come back to the left and draw a slightly curved line over and connect. On the left hand side I'm going to draw curve line out in connect and right at the end I'm going to draw another little curve line. I come on the right and I'm going to draw curve line out in connect and right at this end I'm going to draw another little curve line. I come over to the top on the left and I draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, connect on the right hand side, straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, connect. I come back to the left and I draw that line again, straight line up, curve line, straight line down, on the right hand side, straight line up, curve line, straight line down. I come right over here on the right and I put a dot. And from that dot, I draw a slightly curved line down, around, up, connect. I come down to the bottom and I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. On the right hand side, I draw a wavy, wavy line, jump over, wavy line coming down. Okay? Now I come back over here on the left hand side and I draw a straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect, and on the right hand side, straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. I come back to the left and I draw one, two, three straight lines. On the right, one, two, three straight lines. I come over here on the right hand side and I draw a wavy wavy line down, jump over, wavy line, jump over, wavy wavy line up, connect. I come inside at the top and I draw one dot on the left, one dot on the right. In the center I draw a baby circle and in the center again I draw a big curved line to the left, big curved line to the right. Okay? Now, coming down over here on the left, I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line off the page. I come down a little bit and I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line. Keep going, curve line, connect. Now I'm going to do what we call an overlap right here at the top. Curve line, curve line, off the page, on top. Curve line, curve line, off the page, on the bottom. I come right here on the top and I draw a big curve line over. Little straight lines across. Okay, I put one dot on the left one dot on the right. Starting here on the left I just draw a little curve line on the left and a little curve line on the right. Now I come right here in the center and I just draw curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. I take little dots and do the inside of these spaces with little little black dots, jump over, little black dots, take your time, I know it takes a while, little black dots, once more on my overlap, come down and do the bottom, 
and now this one on the very bottom bottom now keep going keep going all the way once you've done that now come back up to this space I'm gonna write mom M O M but this is a very good functional drawing you could write dad also if it was for for Father's Day or you could write hello if you were just saying hello to somebody there's a lot of things you can write in that balloon but we're gonna do today for Mother's Day alright let's see how we're gonna color this in okay the great thing about this is we only have three colors so I'm gonna take my yellow and color in this space don't forget the little triangle at the bottom come down and color this yellow this space okay then I'm gonna take pink and I'm just gonna color this space on the right this space on the left this space in the center in this little space down below pretty simple now the only part that's kind of trippy or difficult is I'm doing a loop-de-loop -loop. you can see the circles of my blue crayon going around and around this is to do two things one fill up the space with color two give it a little a bit of texture and three this technique will not hurt my hand to color in this big of a space so sometimes when you have a big space of color to do you might want to think about doing a loop-de-loop -loop around and around to fill in all of that area okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here's my balloon bunny all colored in today I'm using it for Mother's Day I could put dad up there for Father's Day I could put somebody's name up there I could do a lot of different things to fill in that name or that space with that balloon okay bye bye